Alrighty you guys, what's going on? So today in this video, I'm going to be starting kind of a little mini series here on the channel. Basically what it's going to be is talking over a couple different types of lures. Basically, it's just um, videos that I want to uh, kind of go into detail on what I throw on certain lures, you know, trailers on certain lures, uh, what kind of lures I throw um, for certain times of year. What kind of lures I throw at uh, certain water depth um, clarity. That's what I meant. First thing, though, is I did buy a brand new crankbait. This actually just came in the mail today. I actually bought this from Tackle Supply Depot. Not sponsored. I wish I was, though. Off of eBay. And I will have a link to this bait if you guys want to buy there uh, from that place. It will also take you to their eBay store and you can buy a lot of things off of there uh, for cheap. I actually bought, I think, two of these things um, from there. So you guys can go and uh, actually I bought one of the things in here from there um, besides this crankbait. But if you guys want to buy this crankbait, um, I will have the link in the description down below. This is a 3XD green crawfish colored crankbait made by Strike King. Um, as you guys know, I'm a very big fan of Strike King lures. And I don't have a 3XD until now. And I kind of wanted one. You know, I wanted a small crankbait. I mean, you can tell by the size of my hand, it is quite a small crankbait. Um, it's a lot smaller than the 6XD and the 10XD. It's um, very, very small compared to the 10XD. And, um, I don't know, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but me and my little brother, we actually went outside, um, last night, or no, it was the night before last, and, uh, picked up a bunch of crawdads, and we threw them in our pond, that way the bass can eat them, and the, the crawdads that we were catching had green on top and white on the bottom, so I'm actually really glad that I bought this bait. I bought this bait on Thursday, and it's already here. That just is one of the good things about buying from that place is they do sell um, cheap and they do sell um, or they do ship it fairly quick. So they did, the crawdads that we found did look a lot like this and I do like the orange on the bottom. The orange on the bottom is going to be really key uh, because some of the crawdads that we found, I'd say at least half of them on their pinchers and on their like the ends of their legs and stuff had like almost bright orange look to them. So I think that that orange with that white and green will really key in good on the crawfish bite that is probably already kicked off, but I've not been able to get out very much. So, you know, basically uh, can't wait to get out though. I'm hoping to get out this weekend. I doubt that I will though, unless um, I go with my cousin. Um, but if I don't, then probably won't go, get to go at all. So I don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the rest of the video. I want to get this lure out of the way first because, excuse me, um, I want to get this lure out of the way first because um, it's one that I don't use often, but I do use some, and I have actually lost one fish on it, um, and that is a bluegill colored swim jig. I own two swim jigs. I own two Strike King swim jigs. Um, this one here is a Hack Attack heavy cover swim jig. Um, and it's got a rage crawl on it and you may notice that the rage crawl is sideways that just has kind of a action like this instead of an action like this um, the reason for that is to make it look like the fish the uh, the bluegill tail as it's swimming in the water and it helps it out a lot I've actually um, casted this a few times in my pond with both the crawdad trailer both different ways and I think that it looks more natural like this but um, you can try it out yourself. I'm sure that at some time it probably wouldn't even matter. But, you know, uh, one thing that you could do is if, if the bite is really good with a uh, bluegill or a shad color swim jig, you could take the trailer and actually turn it sideways, especially one of these crawl trailers. I wouldn't try it with a swim bait because it just wouldn't work. But with a crawl trailer, you can. You can turn it sideways or uh, horizontal, and it will have both trailer actions plus you will be able to get more um, fish out of each bait. That there is a natural brim colored swim jig, he heavy cover hack attack swim jig with a green pumpkin rage crawl on it. Um, 
The reason I throw the Rage Crawl in there is because it looks a little bit more natural than a white swim bait. Um, obviously, uh, bluegill don't have white and bluegill color, so um, you know a bluegill matching color um, really helps. A watermelon red, a watermelon seed, green pumpkin. Um, what's another good color? Uh, sometimes even a brown can help. Um, also, a good color is like a, a summer crawl. It has a little bit of a green pumpkin, a watermelon with a little bit of chartreuse. And another good thing, if you're fishing around fish that have a lot of chartreuse on their on the, like the tips of their tails and their fins and stuff, um, bait fish that is, you can also take this stuff called spike it. I've actually been looking for some, but haven't seen any around here. Um, I'm hoping to find some. Um, and you can dip the tails of your craws or swim baits in it, and it'll change the color and it'll get it scent which I haven't found any of that, but I'm looking. So the next swim jig is a good swim jig. It's a white swim jig. This is not the heavy cover, and I'll show you the difference between the two. Um, on this one here, it's a little bit more of a finesse swim jig. That's why I got a smaller trailer on it. But if you look at the weed guard, you can tell that the weed guard is very different. And the hook, the hook size honestly is not super different. But you can obviously tell there is a difference. I'm pretty sure that this is a 4 aught and this one here is might be a 3 aught um, Possibility um, this might be a, a 2 aught but I doubt it. I don't believe that they're going to put a 2 aught hook in a swim jig um, because that's just a little bit too light. But this is a Strike King swim jig um, in white. I do like the white lures because around here it seems like they just work well. Um, and I have a Berkeley a sick fish uh, trailer on it. Honestly, the only reason I have that on here is because it it looks okay. It looks kind of like a school. You see how the the trailer. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it also has an eye, and the head has an eye, so it kind of makes it look like there's two little shad swimming. That's basically the only reason I put these two together. Um, if it was up to me, I would either throw a um, a striking blade minnow or a, um, a, a junior swimming fluke or something like that on there. Um, honestly, if I had my way about it, I wouldn't have that on there if it didn't look okay. Um, just my opinion on the Berkeley Sickfish, it's not a very good bait. Um, the plastic is a little bit too dense and it's really hard to rig up on a jig head right. You take like five minutes to get it right. Because if you turn it, I mean, if you put it on there just a little bit crinkled, it, the swimming action is just not there. Um, and if you put it on there to where there's just too much plastic, you know, where the, the head goes from like this to crunched up like that on the head, it just messes it up and it doesn't look very good. Um, so if I was you, I would stay away from those and I would go more into like the Blade Minnow or the uh, a Zoom Super Fluke. Or is it Swimming Fluke, sorry. And I will have a link to all of these baits, as many of them as I can, in the description down below, as, uh, as well as uh, the trailers, um, because the trailer is something that is pretty well the key of the bait. It gives it its action. Now, something that you may not notice in this video, because I do have the swim jigs and the chatter baits, but I don't have um, spinner baits. And the reason for that is, I personally don't care to throw trailers on spinner baits. That's that's solely my opinion. Um, if I were go, um, going to throw a, a trailer on a spinner bait, I would go with something with a um, with a boot tail, uh, something like this, like these little. Uh, forgot what I was going to say. Um, one of these little uh, junior swim flukes or a full size swim fluke. Um, the blade minnows, um, I haven't tried those on a spinner bait, but I do know that the swim flukes do work well. A lot of people like throwing um, grubs on chatter baits or on spinner baits. I've never personally tried it, but you know, you can experiment with that if you want to. I just don't like um, trailers on my spinner baits. Um, I actually. We did one, uh, did kind of a test one time. I had a small spinner bait. It was a, uh, what is it called? It was a Strike King Mini King painted blade spinner bait. 
and uh, I was throwing it with a small, tiny, yum boot tail. Basically, it was a crappie swim bait, and I was not getting bites. I actually took off the um, trailer, and I actually caught like a three-pounder, which was a really nice fish, and it was probably the biggest fish caught that whole day out of me, my mom, and my brother. Me, my mom, my dad, and my brother fishing. That was the biggest fish that we caught, and it was on a small little shad color uh, spinnerbait. So I don't throw trailers on them, but that's just my opinion. If you do, go ahead. But I just like you having the blades. I think if the blades aren't enough thump, then you should go to either a chatterbait or a something with rattles. Because, you know, I mean, if a spinnerbait, you know, with one or two blades with a swim bait on it is, is not enough, then something's wrong somewhere. Next is chatterbaits, right? I didn't even... Uh, do a segue into that but you know whatever z-man chatterbaits are the only chatterbaits i have other than the uh, the straight king one which i accidentally left in the box over there which i actually have not used that one very much i have i have lost one fish on it but you know haven't really used it a whole lot um this is a three eighths ounce uh, zoom sorry z-man chatterbait in the white color with a, a small white ice uh, Zoom Junior swimming fluke on there. Um, now, normally with this setup, I would throw a full size swimming fluke on there, but I've been trying to downsize my trailers a little bit just to try to catch my first bass of 2018. So I did change it to the smaller trailer. Once it gets into like the post spawn, I will throw the bigger trailer to look for that bigger bass. Now, as far as the other colors that I throw in chatterbaits, um, I have not caught any fish on these because I just bought these through the winter. Um, this one here is a white and chartreuse. I bought this one for the muddier water. And you may notice that this one has a blade minnow trailer. I actually bought these blade minnows at Academy Sports and Outdoors up north in Indiana. And um, these are in the white color as well. These are a very nice trailer for chatterbaits or spinnerbaits. Um, I have tried them on a spinnerbait. Didn't really care for them. Like I said, I don't use them um, on chatterbaits or on spinnerbaits. But chatterbaits and swim jigs look really good with them. And they're relatively um, tough. I mean, they're I've tried to break them, you know, not like ripping them apart. But I have, you know, done a little bit of a test on them and they didn't fall apart like uh, a couple other swimbaits do. Next is this ghost shad color. It's kind of a clear uh, translucent color with a blade minnow on it as well. And this is actually a 1 8 ounce. My other two chatterbaits are 8 ounce or 3 8 ounce. This one here is a 1 8 ounce. Small head, but it's still got the profile. If you look at the profile, it's the same, but the head is the size difference. This one's a 3 8. This one's a 1 8. Um, just gives it a little bit more of a advantage in a, in a certain way it kind of rides a little bit higher in the water column because it's not as heavy and um but i always throw three eights um the the swim jigs i'm pretty sure they're both three eights and the other chatterbait is also three eights so if i had a, a specific size for chatterbaits slash um spinnerbaits um i don't i don't have a spinnerbait in three eights um, half ounce is my favorite size for spinner baits, but I will be doing a video on that soon. Um, but uh, three eighths is my main size for chatter baits and swim jigs. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. We're only two away from hitting a 350, and we only have five or six days left until I've been a year on YouTube. Don't know what I'm going to do on that day. I might do like a a big live stream or something i don't know yet so i hope you guys liked the video smash the like button if you did um i will leave the links to the shout outs in the description because i'm kind of running out of time so thanks for watching bye